Thank you so much for coming, Dimitri. I um, really appreciate it. And I'm really excited about the panel because I think we all should know at least uh, something about the taxation issues around cryptocurrency. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got involved? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity of, for, and for being here. Um, it's a great event. It allows us to collaborate, talk to each other, uh, talk to each other explore various issues. So um, I, I have a fairly interesting background. So I originally started, uh, uh, well, I've been in public accounting for 20 years, but I originally started in banking and s slowly over the past 15 years moved into technology and fintech and then to technology, banking, and then in 2014 I got involved in uh, crypto and blockchain space. So for me it was a, an evolution of some sort and I was had an inquiring mind. I, um, you know, I love um, banking because it, it's, you know, there's a regulatory framework, it's rigid, and technology because it has no rules. <laughs> you know, you, nice you, combination. You, right, so you kind of make, and so with the FinTech revolution and the uh, emergence of technology and making the, and technology obviously plays a big role, it's a game changer. Um, and, then, and then blockchain happened. So it's, I, I think it's one of the most exciting things that happen, uh, frankly, because I, I personally view that blockchain and crypto will revolutionize the world and will make it, uh, much easier. I'm, I'm, I'm very, actually very hopeful that in the future, especially in the developing countries, uh, this will give an opportunity um, for, uh, for those countries to uh, get access to financing and um, development. And that, that's, what, that's what makes it exciting because, you know, we're in the beginning stages of it. The rules have not really been written yet. Yes. And so as it happens, uh, you know, it, it, and it's, it's a journey. It will be a long journey. It will take some time uh, for it to happen, but I'm, ex I'm very, very excited. Great. <laughs> me too. Um, could you tell me a little bit about what you do for your clients as far as um, taxation with cryptocurrency? So, uh, you know, so my uh, background is corporate tax, um, but I've also done flow through taxation and I've uh, helped uh, clients with... Uh, you know, tax planning, and also with uh, I've done some M and A work over the years. So my primary responsibility is is, uh, and I don't necessarily even though I have a tax background, is being a business advisor, because a lot of the issues that come up and that they have to deal with, uh, they're not necessarily corporate or partnership or business. Um, you know, they're, they're actual real human issues because yeah. <laughs> so it just so happens that whatever the, uh, the the issues are, they happen to have a little tax twist to it. So, so I would say probably as a business advisor, majority of the issues are not even tax related; they're business related because mm -hmm. business will continue to exist. Transactions will happen, uh, whether or not they're happening at the uh, individual level, uh, yeah. I owner or or the company, you know, the tax consequences and, and things like that, a lot of times have to do with, with those issues. So I'm, uh, so I always approach it from, from, from that sense. I also have uh, a pretty good background in, uh, in GAAP and IFRS, so I understand financial statements. I, I know that every single tax issue out there has some sort of financial statement consequences, especially for businesses. So, so I have a, a more pragmatic approach to, um, to those issues, not necessarily purest, you know, tax. Here's the tax code, so you know, so there's uh, there's an ability to go back and and look at things a little bit more holistically, and that's what I like to do. And with cryptocurrency, I hear that there's no real uh, framework or laws um, from the I I IRS, sorry, <laughs> IRS, um, as regards it. What 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 do you advise your clients? In? Well, what I would say is that you know we've got the laws and we do have a regulatory framework. It's uh, it's you know it's the question is uh, you know do we need a better uh, framework or clarification? Okay. I think the answer to that is yes. Um, the IRS issued Notice 2014-21, uh, which gave us a little bit of a guidance, but they didn't give us a whole bunch of guidance. So we are basically at the point in time where we have to look at the existing laws and regulations and kind of work our way through it. Okay. So, but I'm very hopeful. I'm hopeful that, you know, I know that the government is paying close attention to it. And given the fact that we had uh, so many initial coin offerings and, um, you know, over 340, if my memory serves me right, in 17, and I think we're past eight, uh, 100 this year already. 
so it's it's significant amount of offering and and I know the government's paying attention to it. So hopefully in the near future we'll have both tax and regulatory framework, a more robust one, I would say. I've heard that it was more than venture capital, so um, it, it obviously needs to be paid attention to. Um, and so what's your vision of the future as a, a human being, uh, apart from being a ta tax accountant? Yeah. So I, I think blockchain, I'm particularly excited about blockchain yeah. I, I, and not just crypto. I, I think it's really, truly a revolutionary event in, in our history, and I really mean that because if you go down and look at the technology and you look at how it works and what benefits you can get from it, it I, I think a lot of what we do every single day can be simplified. And, um, you know, I always use this example when I talk to, uh, you know, to my friends and colleagues who work in this area is, you know, imagine um, you're trying to get a loan for, you know, and you're working with a, a lender or a mortgage company. You know, right now it takes you at least a month to get approved, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> what if you could um, somehow use the blockchain and the technology that we, we already have available today to shorten that period and get instantly approved and effectively create a, a system whereby it's done instantaneously or it doesn't, you know, or a system where it doesn't take a long time? Wouldn't that be wonderful, yes, right? Yes, so it, it, yeah, it would be wonderful. Yeah, there would be greater economies of scale. There would be more efficiency, and I, I think th things like um, you know choosing college for for your children, mm. um, not you know, not just necessarily looking at it from the financial perspective, but you know logistically, logistics, how f yeah. yeah, logistics. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you could you could do use yeah. to simplify it. Yeah. The other area that I'm really excited about is medicine. Um, I mean, look how much data we have to go through. Um, you go to any hospital today, um, the administrative costs are huge, and managing data is, uh, and it takes a long time. And the biggest issue for managed healthcare is, you know, uh, and I'm simply going to be blunt, is making a mistake, right? Yes. Or having too much information where you know it's hard to process it. Yes. I think this technology um, can offer many solutions and can really make the process much better. I agree. I'm very excited about blockchain. I think it'll disrupt many industries, um, right. even ones we can't see right now. So I really appreciate you coming tonight, and I'm really looking forward to the panel. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much, and I appreciate this opportunity, and I appreciate uh, speaking to you and, and being here. Thank you Thank so you. much.